Viewers, I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to install Windows 10 using Virtual Machine Manager inside my Synology NAS server. As you may already know, to install Windows 10, you need an ISO file of Windows. In this case, I've already downloaded the ISO file beforehand to save time. You all can download the ISO file as well, so I've skipped that part in the video to make it shorter. Also, uploading the ISO file to the Synology server takes quite a bit of time, so I've skipped showing that part too. If anyone specifically wants to learn about that process, I'll definitely make a separate video on it. On the screen, you can see that Virtual Machine Manager is open. From here, we'll click on the Create button on the left side inside the Virtual Machine section to start the process of creating a new virtual machine. Next, we'll select the Microsoft Windows option and click the Next button. Then, we'll give the system a name, select the number of CPU cores, and then allocate memory. For the video card, we'll leave it as the default setting. After that, we'll simply click the Next button. Next, we'll specify how much virtual hard disk space to allocate for the virtual machine. After that, we'll leave the network settings as they are by default. Then, we'll attach the ISO file to link it with the system, and also add the Synology VMM Tools ISO as an additional ISO file. After that, we'll leave the rest of the settings as they are and simply click Next to continue. Now we'll power on the system from here, and at the top, there is a button named Connect, we'll click on that to connect to the virtual machine, so we can see the system visually. This will open in a new tab. Now you can see that our system has started to boot. Next, we'll proceed with the Windows installation process, and we'll complete the installation step by step. First, we're asked to select a language option. In this case, I'm selecting English as the default language, and then I'll click Next. On the next screen, we'll see the install button, and from there, we'll proceed with the installation. After that, we'll be asked to accept some terms and conditions. We'll check the box to accept the license terms, and then click Next. Next, there will be two installation options, and in this case, we'll choose the second option, Custom Installation. Now it asks us to select a hard disk, so we'll choose the default hard disk, since we don't have any other drives, and click Next to continue. Now, the installation files will be copied to the installation drive, and this part usually takes a bit more time. That's why I've fast-forwarded this section in the video to keep it short. Please be patient during this stage, as it may take a while to complete. After the files have been copied, the system reboots automatically, and the setup files start configuring with the system, which takes a bit of time. Next, you'll be asked to select your region in that case, just select the appropriate region. Then you'll be prompted to select your keyboard layout. After that, Windows will take a little more time to get everything ready in the background. You'll need to be patient during this stage as well. In the video, I've fast-forwarded several parts here to keep things short. At this point, it will ask you whether you're installing this Windows for personal use or for an organization. In that case, you should select the option that suits your need accordingly. After that, you'll need to set up your Windows login username and password, along with password recovery information, step by step, make sure to fill these in carefully. Then, there will be a few important steps where you'll need to click next and accept to move forward through the remaining setup options. Once that's done, your Windows will be ready to use. Here, you can see that we have successfully installed Windows 10 inside Synology's Virtual Machine Manager. Now, we'll proceed to install the Virtual Machine Manager tools provided by Synology inside our Windows system, so that everything runs smoothly and properly. Here, you can see that we have successfully installed Windows 10 inside Synology's Virtual Machine Manager. Now, we'll proceed to install the Virtual Machine Manager tools provided by Synology inside our Windows system, so that everything runs smoothly and properly. Now, as you saw, after we changed the settings, the system restarted. Once the restart is complete, We'll now set up remote desktop on our Windows virtual machine so we can use it just like a regular computer in a simple and convenient way. 
In this case, I'm only setting up remote desktop using my local area IP and showing how to use it within the local network. However, if you later feel that you want to access this virtual machine from anywhere in the world using remote desktop, or if you want to set up a system where the VM is globally accessible, then please let me know in the comments. If I get that request, I'll definitely make a dedicated video on that topic as the next step showing you how to configure a virtual machine that can be remotely accessed from anywhere in the world, just like a regular computer. Now, as you can see, we've been able to successfully connect to our virtual machine using Remote Desktop Protocol RDP, through the IP address of our computer. It's working smoothly and effectively, just like a regular PC. If you have any questions, feedback, or if anything was unclear, please don't hesitate to leave a comment with the specific time where you faced the issue and we'll do our best to support you. We're also continuously working on uploading more tutorials related to Synology VMM and similar topics to our channel. So, we humbly request you to subscribe to our channel and stay connected with us. Your support and encouragement help us move forward and keep creating helpful content. That's it for today, we hope you all stay well and continue to be with us.